Well, I had a, a friend. He sent me a link on a on a, on our group chat saying there's this raffle on eBay. Um, so I thought, you know what, it's a, it's good for a good charity for the uh, football beyond billboarders. Roberto Carlos, why not? Let's have a go. So I sent a little, you know, little little picture saying, you know, we we might have a new player in January. You never know. <laughs> bit of a bit of a joke. Um, Friday about quarter to two. Um, saw an email come through and I just couldn't believe what I was reading, to be honest. It was absolutely amazing. And I was just stood in silence for a little while. Then I was just like, no way. But when I when I showed the lads, they, they were like, nah, nah, you're having us on, mate. You're having us on. You're being played here. And I just thought, you know, I, I got the call and they were all just waiting and waiting and waiting for me to just, you know, let them know what was actually happening. And you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we still couldn't believe it. And then obviously it broke on Monday and it just starts hitting home that this is going to happen. And it's just absolutely amazing, to be honest. It's, it's extraordinary. When, when you say this is going to happen, what will happen and when? When exactly will you be playing with Roberto Carlos? Um, we're hoping, obviously, to get as much game time with him as possible. Um, our left back, Liam Torrell's kind of trending because, you know, there's going to be a competition for places now <laughs> <laughs> between the two. Hmm, who so, are you going to go for? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. And what about the facilities itself, the, the locker room, what is that? Like, do you even have uh, enough space, the capacity for visitors? Because you, you might get one or two more than usual. Well, we, we have a standard... Um, we have the standard three fans normally, but you know, chain rooms has got it's got enough room for two people in the shower. So you know, <laughs> that's a good start. And as long as he helps us put the goals up, we're happy. I was going. I was going to say, well, is he going to? Is Roberto going to start for you? Or is it just going to be a substitute? You hoping maybe he might manage to nab a couple of free kicks. Once I've had a little bit more of a chat to their people about this, then you know, find out what sort of expectation of minutes they're going to be and what, what I've got to play with. Uh, you know, obviously, I want to let every single one of the team have an opportunity to just rub shoulders with him. I mean, even those who might not get a chance to play, we're just going to be in the change rooms. He's going to be one of the lads for a day. And that's just, that's, just the, that's just the amazing thing. And hopefully we'll get him back to the pub for a pint as well. <laughs> I know you haven't spoken to Roberto yet, but he's all for it. He's already tweeted that he cannot, or on social media, he said he cannot wait to get a, a bacon butty. Well, you might have seen my response. I said red or brown sauce. Because <laughs> he was... Uh, <laughs> that, but I don't think he saw that one. But you never know. I'll, I'll ask him for the day as well. You know what? Don't have to, you don't even need his response on social media. You're going to see the man himself. Yeah. You can put the joke to him. Oh, exactly. <laughs> oh, but Ed... Yeah, no, no. You, I'm sure there are so many people out there really, really jealous of this opportunity. Well done. Can you even imagine £5 leading to this? So good talking to you. Thank you very much.